All right, everyone, we're back, and I started the episode, but forgot to uh, hit the record button. So let's do this again. Uh, let's see, get a flyer for this place, the Kronsky. In English, of course. Of, oh, yeah, of course. And uh, we actually need one of these. We need this number, which we get here. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's the only one with that number. But we need that phone number. And we can look through this book and see Romansky and all this good stuff and like Yeah, you know, people who have come and gone. Mm hmm Um I think Helena's on the first page. I know, I think she's on this page too. No. Is Malkovich here? That's what I wanted to Because She never at. departed. Wait, she's there, but I think she is up at the top. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure if um, the Malkovich guy that her mother knows was on here or not. But anyway, hit the beeper, her buzzer button, and get the fuck out of here before he sees us. Oh, okay, it's right there. Can you sense the Vorlberg Hello there. essence here? Good afternoon. Miss. Only slightly. Are you the hotel barman? My name is James, Miss. James, the automaton nurse. I am not a barman. I'm sorry. I didn't want to upset you. If you don't mind, Miss, I would appreciate it if you would just be a little more rigorous in the terms you employ in the future. Uh, let's go with mission. I think that's what we have to say to him. Can you take me to Helena Romansky? Oh, yeah, that'll work. Not at this hour, miss. Madam was still <coughs> watching the sea at the end of the pier. So? Madam knows perfectly well that during this season, I don't go down to the pier. My wheel work goes dicky under the double corrosive <laughs> action of the salt and sand winds. Listen, you can hear them sweeping up and down the beach and out to sea. We call it the salt wind here. It'll drive us all crazy one of these days. Come on, just make a little effort. Who's this no, sound like? I'll stay here and make ready Oscar. for Madame, yeah. in case she needs me. She can be so unpredictable, such violent swings of mood. Well, I'm going, James. See you later, maybe. It would be a pleasure to see you again, miss. Um, let's go, okay, come on. There we go. So we need to go this way. Did I get a. I didn't get a access card. Uh, let's grab this because we're going to need it. Just put this breakable glass thing in my jacket. But of course. yet. No? That door. Yeah, that's what I thought. You can go around this thing. And, yep, okay. That's what I thought. I haven't triggered the event for the people come out of the changing room yet. I think I just have to beat on this thing a little bit. No, I don't. I need an actual number. Hang on. Let me check yeah. it out. Let me check it real quick. There we are. Uh, give me a second. I have to look up the number. I don't have it written down because I don't have paper. But we do have... Internet. Okay. Mm hmm Wait, uh, I already forgot the number. Good job. Okay. 
So the number we were supposed to get from up front on the book, if I had looked at it, it would have had her number, was 1270. Darn it! That doesn't work. Just as I thought. But that triggers an event. Now this is open and there's two naked dudes playing chess in the water. Sweet. At least I think there are. Well, let's find out. And that number we need. But yeah, let's say the naked dude right here. Yep. Perfect. So yeah, 0968 is the number we have to put in there now from their card. One of, the, one of their cards. Mm -hmm. O nine six eight. Yay! We opened the door. To the. <laughs> we need what? Gas. We need the gas mask. Why? Salt and sand winds. And she goes out there. Yes. This is why the other guy wouldn't. This is why James wouldn't go out here. But. She doesn't need the gas mask. Who? Who goes out here without a gas mask? Wait, didn't he say Helena was out here? Yes. I'm hoping she has one. Okay. So yes, we get to meet Miss Romansky. Just take that. What? If that's going to work. Well, they, you'll see. Hindsight. Madame Romansky? Madame Helena Romansky? Who are you? What do you want? I'm sorry to disturb you, ma'am. My name's Kate Walker. I've come on behalf of Frank Malkovich. Ah, oh, Malkovich, the old son of a gun. Are you one of his relatives? <laughs> Not exactly. He's a good friend of my mother's. He told me- I just want to know what her mother does if she knows these people. Yeah. I'm American, a lawyer. To what do I owe your visit? You have come so far. It must be important. Indeed it is. I have very delicate and pressing business to attend to. I have just left. Later, my dear, later. I have a slight headache. This hotel mask they pinch so. I have to go in. Please, could you be so kind as to call my valet? Your valet? Of course. James. Do we have to put that bell on James? No, we don't put the bell on him. We have like some sort of rip off of Darth Vader. You back here again? How dare you show your damn face back here? Get out of here immediately! Please, I absolutely must find. Miss Romansky! Oh, yes, I'm sorry. She managed to lie her way in here. Don't matter how vigilant you are, there's always one. Uh, but it won't happen again. She'll be out on her ear before you can say, uh... I hope she hasn't upset you too much. Oh, Felix. Stop being such a grizzly bear. This woman is my guest. She's your <laughs> guest? But that ain't possible. This scandal didn't even know you three hours ago. God, how long I has it been since I walked out here? Yeah, really. Someone. Miss Romansky, please. This maniac turned up earlier and tried to wreck the fountain. If it wasn't for the... I said enough, Felix. Please treat Miss Walker with the respect befitting one of my friends. Don't touch and don't swear. Have I made myself clear, Mr. Smetana? Yes, yes, crystal clear, Madam Romansky. Please do <coughs> my humble apologies. Very good, Felix. You may go now. I can only assume in this situation she's been fluent in German, French, and uh, Russian in these situations. Yeah. And that's, this is just translations. Alright, now we can go ring the bell. I think it ends up being three times we have to ring it. I'm just going to ring it until I feel like stopping. And then James will come? Mm, no. What? 
Jo, zdej. I'm just gonna do three because I don't know how many it takes. So why not three? Why not? It's always a lucky number. And then I have to go inside. <coughs> yeah, the salt wind got to me. <laughs> go ahead and take this damn thing off, so. Because if you try to walk in with it on, she'll. Come back over there and take it off. Mm -hmm. And worst of all, she'll talk. Oh God! James, what are you waiting for? Don't tell me you didn't hear the bell this time. The bell did indeed ring, but it is very windy outside, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is a bit gusty. But what's that got to do with it? Madam doesn't understand. She says an automaton doesn't need protection, but my insides don't like the salty wind. I'm afraid to go out, you know. And if you wore my mask to protect you against the salt, would that help? Oh, most certainly. Automaton in gas mask. <laughs> I feel like Hans had an obsession with cleanliness. He didn't know it was Am Robich did. Yeah. Ooh, a phone call. Oh, we've progressed. Katie Poo. So, have you met her yet? This Helena person. What would she like? Does she remember Frank? Her I'm mom's not sure. I met her and yes, yeah, she's living in Arlbad. Yeah. You can thank Frank for me again. I'll remember too, honey. So, what's Arlbad like? Maybe Frank can take me there one day. It's this seaside resort, Ma, but it isn't what it used to be. You'd be real disappointed. Maybe you're right. So, when are you coming home? Is that mission all over then? Not really, Ma. I still haven't found the heir I'm looking for to wrap up the case. Helena Romansky's a kind of detour here. Listen, Munchkin. I get the distinct impression that you're being led up the garden path. Why don't you just come home? Tell your boss this heir just doesn't exist. That you've done all you can. No problem hey, with her, mother, she kind of did say. Do you want me to call yeah. for you? Ma, please, don't get involved. Looking for Hans Varlberg is what I'm being paid for. But I also just want to find him for myself. Honestly, you're just as stubborn as your father. Don't complain that your mother didn't warn you. Don't worry, I won't. <laughs> How much... What's, such a mother thing to say. Yeah. Oh yeah, and his hands are attached to the uh, wheelchair. I figured. He is the wheelchair. It's a real honor to meet you, Madame Romansky. People have told me so much about you. Mm. People still talk about me. Oh dear. Of course. Everyone tells me how wonderful you were. How you were one of the greatest singers of the century. Ah, so I was, my dear. But surely you didn't come here just to dig up the past. I kind of did. Yeah. Uh, let's go with mission. I'm wrapped up in a case at the moment, and because of it, I met a certain Mr. Sergei Borodin, director of the Komkalsgrad Industrial Complex, situated to the northeast of here. Ah, oh, I remember that factory. <gasps> oh, a sad city indeed. What am I saying? They all were. Madame Romansky, this Borodin is one of your biggest fans. If you could come and sing for him there, it would make one of his biggest dreams come true. Sing? Oh, my poor girl. I have not sung for years. Time has taken its toll. My voice is like the rest of me. Faded and wan, like my heart. Oh, aren't you going a bit far there? I bet you've still got a great voice. Oh, you are the sweetest cherry, my dear. I am not senile yet, but 
but I look reality in the face every time I look in the mirror, and I can tell singing is something I did in the past. I like how the music always obscures the. I know. I, I really do hate that. Madame Romansky, please understand. I would never have come so far to disturb you if I didn't really need your help. I understand, my dear. But my health is failing me, as does my voice. Believe me, no one is sadder than I. Oh, Hans. Strange. I get the impression that Hans Varlberg turned up here, too. You know Hans Varlberg? Not exactly. I'm looking for him to sort out this inheritance case. But I've had to snoop around in his past a bit to get on his trail. And I guess he's kind of a close friend now. You knew him, didn't you? Oh, yes. I knew Hans Wallerberg. Do you hear, James? Ah, oh, if you had... You know what his relation to her was? Hans. What? My Hans. Oh, my God. What has become of him? Where is he? Do they date? As questions go, madam, that one is not without certain complications. Admirer, I think, Sorry, is what it came down no to. Idea. But also That's friend. That's the goal of my mission. Huh. To find Hans Wallerberg. That's or maybe she was interested in him and he wasn't. As quickly as possible, what that and mm. to get out of Comcalsgrad. And you cannot find him without the train? The train is one of his last inventions. So is Oscar, the automaton engineer. I get the feeling that the two of them are going to lead me to him. Did you hear that, James? I might see Hans again. I have dreamed so long of meeting my dearest sweetheart again. Oh, if only I could sing. If only I were in Paris, I would ask George for that That's why I had to ask her. cocktail. The one that only he knew how to make. Wouldn't I, James? Yes, madam. As you have frequently said, without that famous cocktail, your French tour would have probably been cancelled. <laughs> I don't understand. An extraordinary tale, my dear. It was December, and it was terribly cold and damp. I had to play the role of Tatiana that evening at the opera. But since the morning, I had lost my voice. It drove me completely mad with worry. I don't know how George, the barman at the Moritz Hotel, heard about my affliction, but he brought me up a cocktail that he had invented, a strange concoction. But it turned out to be a miracle cure. My voice returned to me in an instant. So we gotta get that. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's just what we need. We're going to mix you up a cocktail. Ah, oh, my dear child. It is impossible. George never told me the recipe of the drink. He loved to keep his trade secrets. He said it made him absolutely irreplaceable. Eh, not wrong there. Well, I'm going to get George to tell me. He hasn't yet met with my powers of persuasion. Who the fuck is George? The barman I'll at the hotel. Thank you for listening to me. It was a the guy real at the front? pleasure. No, no, of the place in Paris. You are a charming young lady. We're going to Paris. To are, you are you serious? Yes. We're going to Paris. Yeah. We're just gonna okay, go right that... back to France. No, I'm just gonna hit the cell phone and call. Oh my god, I hate This you. is an expensive trip. Oh, is that the number on the pamphlet? Yeah, which I'm looking for. There it is. So we need to call 464. It's a number on the pamphlet I was pointing out an episode ago. 464-343. Hello? Hotel Moritz? The reception here. Can I help you? I'd like to talk to Mr. George. He's a barman at your hotel. I'll connect you with the bar. Just a moment. Fancy. Hello, hotel bar? Hi. I'd like to talk to George, please. George? You mean Mr. George? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Probably. Uh, he must have no, been a barman first at the name Mr. Last name George? <laughs> Well, don't want to disappoint you, but Mr. George stopped working here quite a while ago. What was the <coughs> I've been told that Mr. George had a recipe for a fantastic cocktail, and only he knew the ingredients. 
I absolutely must know what was in it. It's a matter of life and death. I'd love to Damn, have are you a boozer? Now, old George? now, he knew a lot of cocktails. One hell of a barman and one hell of a reputation. He did write down his recipes before he left. But if you can tell me which one you were looking for exactly? Uh, I don't know. There are a lot of them, you say? Yeah. The Paris Peking Shuffle, the Deep Green Secret, Boco Poco, Blue Helena, Red Mambo. Hmm. Helena. Yeah, that's the one. The Blue Helena. Right, I'll take a look. You know, Helena, Blue like Helena, Helena Romanski, sir, for Tea. Helena. Right. One measure of vodka, one measure of blue carasso, one measure of honey, a dash of lime and ice cubes. Shake it all together and Bob's your uncle. Perfect. Thank you very Never much, sir. Thanks, you have been yeah. most helpful to me. Okay, so... Not need that anymore. First things first. Come down here. Get the honey and the semi-fresh lemon. I hope it's fresh. I mean, it's half a lemon, so you know it's not. But when we come back, now we have that, we're going to mix up ourselves one hell of a cocktail. Oh, man. So we'll see you next time. See you there. Bye.